Alright, um, welcome to another sort of C++ tutorial. Um, in this one I'm going to go over um, using the dot product. It's kind of a um, simple thing. Um, just, you know, mainly one of these tutorials mainly for um, just to help out with schoolwork, you know, if you're interested in, you know, um, game programming for like game design or development, these, you know, these will be helpful to you um, in your, you know, your in your uh, classes, you know, programming classes, whatever. Um, just want to do these to help. So anyway, let's get into it. Uh, first thing is we just got our basic structure set up: math, I/O stream, C math. You know, user namespace. Got all that set up. Um, just want to go ahead and show you the uh, the algorithm of, of the dot product. Let's go ahead and bring that in. As you can see, a times b is equal to a1 times b1 plus a2 times b2. Um, you know, a is equal to that. Um, what I'm going to do is not a. It's not going to be in 2D. It's actually going to be in 3D. Um, so the only difference is, is you just have one more point, and instead it's a1 times b1 plus b2 plus a3 times b3. And that's that's a really only difference. Um, I I just find it easier to write it in a 3D. And then if you need it for, for 2D coordinates, you could easily just um, use it for 2D as well. So, all right, let's, um, let's go ahead and get into it. First thing we want to do is initialize our variables we're going to be using. So we're going to do A3 and B3. Okay, and then we want to get our results. So we are going to do a capital and three. Okay, and then we're going to do our totals. So, and uh, like I said, we want to have a, a, a 2D total. So we're going to do, do two, 2D, uh, do 2D total like that, and then we'll have a 3D total like that. All right, we got that initialized. We can um, go ahead and do this. Right. See out. Enter the oops, value for a one. Okay. quick and easy method of copy and pasting. So let's change that to A2 and A3. A1 A2. Go ahead and take that. Copy that. Substitute Control F. Make sure you go to your quick replace. Replace A and replace with B. Quick and easy. And you are already done. So now that we got that, we got our values for, for your A and your B. We want to go ahead and multiply all these together. So what we can do is oops, our 2D total is equal to A1 times B1. Or actually, sorry. A0 times B0. And we'll do a double uh, parenthesis. That way we can. Sorry, I lost uh, what I was talking about. Anyway. And then B1. Oops. And that's that. And we'll do our 3D total. Just equal to the exact same thing, except for we want to add plus a zero. Oops, a two times b two. Got it. All right, and that should be it. And now we just want to see out our our results. So our 2D, I 
also do 2D total equals Succeed. Okay. Uh, so let's bring that to the screen. Enter our value for A1. Let me go ahead and get some numbers that I know work. Okay. We're just going to do 4, 3. And if you want to do only a 2D, just, just make your A3, 0, or 1, doesn't matter. Um, if you want to do just 2D, but we're going to do 3D. Alright, and you can see the different totals, and that's the dot product. Um, fairly simple. Um, I recommend learning it. It's really easy, and uh, it will help out later on when you start um, doing a little bit more complex stuff, stuff with matrices and all that. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Dex. I will be making another tutorial here shortly, um, so thank you for watching.